And now, live from Hollywood, California, all the way from Smokesylvania, it's the Count Smokula Show. I like rap. She likes rap to so Bring out the map. Let's find some harmony. Relax. There's no place to go. Come to the Count Smokula Show. There's no place to go. Come to the count, smoke till the show. We have surprises. We have guests. We only have the very best. Opinions to get off our chest. We're back, and so are you. We're so glad you tuned into the program. That's why we made a program for you to turn into it. And I am Count Smokey Little Rock host. Today we have, again, of course, the spectacular Susie, our delightfully wonderful co-host. And how are you today, darling? Well, I'm just feeling good. Holidays are over with. It's wonderful to be back. This is a wonderful new year. And how was uh, your uh, volleyball? Susie, the spectacular Susie, is one of the champions of the great sport of volleyball. How was it this week? Did you win? Well, I don't know if I would count myself a champion. However, it makes me livable for the whole rest of the week. Why is this? Because of the aerobic, uh, the exercising and all this? gets all my aggressions out and then I'm a nice guy for the rest of the week. You're a nice guy. <laughs> this doesn't look like a nice guy to me. It looks like a nice girl. <laughs> Spectacular Susie. We have some letters that have come in and I want to read them because I love these letters. These letters oh. are great. We don't know what they are. They, we haven't even read them yet. We're going to look. We'll share them with the folks at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, here, here, here we go. Dear Count Smokula and the Spectacular Susie. I saw your show the other night, and I got a hernia from picking up the TV and throwing it out the window. I'm going to sue you. Regards, Belmont Flood, St. Louis, Missouri. What, ah. would you, what should we do? I think we'll ignore that one. We'll ignore that one. That wasn't nice. Mm -hmm. The hernia from the gee whiz. Oh, let's hope this one's better. Maybe he, maybe he really liked it. He just wanted to see how... He just how wanted to see me get aggressive. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay, dear Count Smokula and the spectacular Susie, how do you get your guests on the show? They're all such fascinating people. Irene Chilichescu from Brasov, Romania. How do we get the guests? You know what? People ask me this all the time. They fall out of trees and they come right here on the Count Smokula show. It's amazing, but they do. And we got some great guests for you today. We will introduce them very, very soon. Look at these, these people, they put some... You know what, Count? I think what it's the... just because you're such a nice guy. Me, I'm not a nice yes. guy. I'm just the Count Smokula. That's it. That's all I want to be known as. Not mm. a nice guy. Um, the boy. nice guys, um, they, they finish last. I want to finish at all, you know. You know. Dear Count Smokula and the spectacular Susie, when are you going to come to Hawaii? We need you to come and surf with us. Yes. St. Louis, Lily, Kalapuni, Tuna... Tuni, something or other in Manaluri, Hawaii. Louie, when are you sending us the ticket? Yeah, we got to go to Hawaii and we got to have a great time because we're too pale a lot of the time. Because of we drinking the cafe latte, it keeps us up for days in a row. One cup, I don't sleep, I don't know about you. 
What do you think? I don't drink any of that stuff. It's very, very yeah. uh, energetic for your system. I don't drink anything. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing. No drinking? No water, no juice. Nothing? Nothing. Not even uh, Count Smokula's liquid lunch from uh, Smokesaline. That's it, the uh, liquid mm -hmm. lunch. Now, spectacular, Susie. We have to read from the Bible the weekly world news. Okay, we love this uh, paper because it tells the truth. <laughs> The truth. And here's something I found right here. This would amaze you. This one. The amazing chimp predicts the AFC to win the Super Bowl 28 to 17. Can you see that in the monitor? Get a close, tight shot of this chimpanzee. If you can, you will. And if you will, you won't. This chimpanzee, he chain smokes. He chain smokes the cigarettes. His name is Archie. I'm telling you this, he belongs to Roscoe, and he predicted that four of the last six Kentucky Derby winners, he predicted this, he predicted the New York Yankees beating with the Atlanta Braves, and now he predicts the Super Bowl. Isn't this amazing? Now, why I'm telling you this? Because on this program today, we have a real live psychic who really makes the great predictions. That's right. This is Miss Patty is going to be on the show and joining us in a few minutes. Oh boy. And she's going to make predictions for us and uh, for the coming uh, new year and uh, everything. Uh, something great. Something great. Also on this show, we have the extraordinary Mr. Bob Malone. This fellow, he plays a piano like you wouldn't believe. You like every style in the world, from uh, the New Orleans to the classical music, it's something spectacular. And he's going to sing for us on the oh, show, and, and, and we're going we're gonna to talk to him. So, uh, all right, now but we have a phone call. Hello. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, place uh, two on, uh, we hit a bell in the uh, seventh, and uh, four on the rest of them. Oh, yeah, you know what to do. Okay, thank you. All right, that was my friend. Yeah, it sounds a little bit hmm, fun. Okay, it was okay. Count Smokulas. Liquid lunch. This would keep you pleasantly happy. Right now, let's get on with this show. We have from New Orleans, Louisiana, the psychic. They, they call her the psychic to the stars, or at least some of the stars. The psychic to some of the stars. Ladies and gentlemen, chosen of all ages, let's welcome to our program, our humble little show, the great Miss Patty, right here. I'm so happy to be here today. Well, what You're a welcome. pleasure, it's yes, a, it's absolutely. A it's a, what have you been doing uh, lately with your uh, psychic hotline? Well, yes, I've been working on the psychic hotline and I've also been doing readings at my home. You know, people call me for personal readings besides the, the fact that I work on the psychic hotline. What is this uh, psychic hotline? Well. Hey, it's a wonderful that. thing to tell you the truth for psychics like myself because what we can do is work from our homes. We can log on to psychic lines and get the phone calls right at our homes. We don't even have to go anywhere. And it's great. So and all day long, you just, uh, people calling all you day and long, you tell all them. Day, them. All day long, all, day, all night long. I happen to be a night owl. I stay up all night long. So it's perfect for me. And is it the voice that. Can well, you, you know, um, it's a combination of things. You get different energies from different people, you know, that help you to uh, pick up on things about them and what's forthcoming for them. Yeah. What's forthcoming? Yes. So what, how you get this, uh, the voices that come to you? Well, I'll tell you. This is how I work. And this is my main thing. Uh, I have clear audience abilities. And the way I explain it is that I hear a voice and it sounds like it's coming from behind my left ear. The left, which is the over left. here. This, oh, this one's the over left. Here. Okay, okay, yeah. And uh, it's sort of a low voice. And when I want to concentrate on someone or whatever, I'll say, "Give me just a moment. I won't say anything." And then I'll listen to what I hear. I guess you could call that my spirit guide or my inner voice or whatever. And that's where I get my information. This and is. This is amazing stuff. And uh, you know, I have a lot of people call me back and tell me that my information was correct. Really? Yes. So you know things in advance uh, that what's going to happen? I dream a lot of dreams that happen. Yeah, sometimes really? it don't, doesn't happen for months down the line. Sometimes it's, you know, within a, oh, a short period of time. Like a few years back uh, when they had that big earthquake in San Francisco, about 48 hours beforehand, 
Uh, I was sleeping. It was about 3 o'clock in the morning, and I just was, this tremendous shaking was going on, tremendous shaking. And I, it, it shook so much that it shook me out of the bed onto the floor. And I woke up, and my heart was pounding like, oh! Oh my God, what is this? I was so freaked out and I called up my sister in Texas and she said, what was it like, what was it like? And I said, it was just like a big force. I didn't even know how to identify it. And then 48 hours later, they had the big uh, earthquake in San Francisco. So I'm sure I was picking up on that big shaking force of the earthquake. Well, where were you? I was here in here. Southern California. Oh. Unbelievable. Oh I, thought, I thought the only way you could tell if there was an earthquake, this is for real. I talked to a geologist recently. Yes. And I said, how you find out if there's an earthquake? Is it true that you don't know? He says, we don't know. The only way, the animals, they disappeared. You find more dogs and mm -hmm. cats and uh, rabbits mm -hmm. lost in the street. Mm -hmm. That's true. And of course, uh, in Smokesylvania, the wombats. Whoa. Watch the wombats. The wombats. The wombats. So, yeah. Hope those little wombats find their way home after. They, they find <laughs> their way home. <laughs> now, I think what we're going to do yes. is we're going to, Miss Patty has agreed to do a psychic reading for us right now. Yes. So ah, let's uh, take Let her. She's got some. Uh, I'm going to dig in my trick bag. The, the psychic reading. We're going to remove our dinosaur friends. Aha. Aha. Oh, yeah, the frog that yeah, used to squeak. He doesn't squeak anymore. Maybe uh, we got a little <laughs> squeak out of the froggy. <coughs> there we go. Thank you too much. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. We'll even get rid of ah. the phone, which didn't do me any good the last time. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna I'm gonna lay out my scarf here that has all the astrological signs on it. Isn't that it's gorgeous? Energy, and it fits perfectly this on this is table. Beautiful. Is that look, perfect? Can we get a close look at this it's beautiful. astrological sign table now? Yes. And right here is Capricorn, which I am the Capricorn, right by yeah. me. Same as Elvis, Dolly Parton, Crystal Gale, Rod Stewart, Janice Joplin. Lots of good Capricorns. This means this means they're all similar in some way. In some way. Pro prob Pro probably that we all love money. The <laughs> well, wh which one can't you say that about? Well, uh, Capricorns, is, uh, I mean, they're, they're pretty much are into it. I mean, there's a lot of other signs, of course, that like money, too. But, I, I mean, there's so. other things that sort of stand out more about those signs than maybe the money thing. This one, Piscis the fish. And then that's a very psychic sign, Pisces. The Pisces, yeah. Pisces, very, very psychic, yes. And, and musical uh, and intuitive and very creative. Hmm. And I know both of you are Gemini's. Mm -hmm. well, uh, me, I'm vegetarian. He's You're a vegetarian? vegetarian? Okay. Yes. Then we'll leave you out. Okay. <laughs> but both of uh, Yeah, we, we really, we, we, we both Yes, twins. and Gemini's is uh, people who like to be in the spotlight, and they're talkative, mm -hmm. can be, uh, they're communicators. Yeah, that's so, what we do. Of course, okay. and here you are on TV, so See? of course you're a communicator. That psychic hotline is right. Okay. Yes, absolutely. She's a psychic. And I have a Gemini rising, that's why I talk so much. Okay. Let's see. No. <laughs> okay, so this no. is what we're going to do. Oh, we got the, We're going to shuffle some cards. These are the tarot. The tarot cards, yes. Oh, great. We're going to shuffle this some cards here. This is exciting stuff. This is... And then I'm going to let you... Should we get into psychic mood? Uh, try to. Okay. Please. Try okay. to. Concentrate hard. Okay, we're concentrating hard. What are we concentrating on? On okay. the music just, that's coming out of the atmosphere. what you want to know about. Psychic atmospheric music. Now I'm going to shuffle the cards eight times just because I happen to love the number eight. And, uh... Rather a sexy sign. And the it's eight, a it, it's a universal eight year. I like this. This is fun. Uh -huh. Okay, what's happening? Which means it's a good year for making this one. This one is eight? Yeah, this year is a universal eight year. Yeah. Okay, let's concentrate okay, on the Okay, so here we go. I'm going to spread some cards Should out. Should we say what we're concentrating on? No, 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 no. This is what I want you to do. I just want, what I'm going to have you do is pick a card. Now wait, don't do it yet. And uh, then I'm going to concentrate on the card you pick and then I'm going to tell you something for you about the, uh, the cards that you've chosen, okay? Five, so, pick okay. a card. Just to count. pick a card, any card. Pick a card, any card. Okay, we pick a card, here's a card. Should we turn it over? Turn it over. We turned it over. Cha-cha-cha, okay? Now, you know what? Pick another card. Another card, maybe this, uh, another card here. Ah, lovely, okay, and pick one more. One more card, okay. Okay. Yeah, this looks like a nice card to pick. Turn it over. Turn it over. Oh, not cha -cha -cha. good. That doesn't look happy. Well, you know what? I'll tell you. Now, this, this is what this would say to me. That perhaps your romantic life could be suffering a bit. Ooh. Could that be true, Count? Oh. Boy, it, it sounds terrible. <laughs> well, I uh, see, I mean, you look I like haven't had a, a woman in 400 years. Oh, my God, no wonder, no wonder. But see, you're a very loving person. I am. And I you am. want romance in your life and in your home. Of course. But 
you carry a heavy burden. My burden is heavy. Your burden is heavy, and it's like it's hard for you to uh, get that love out and to connect with the right person. Oh boy, oh boy, yes. oh boy, this is what the So this is maybe something that you should be thinking about this year and how, and how you can sort of lighten your, uh, your burden here so you can concentrate more on love and have more love in your life. We all need more love in our life. Don't we? Yes. Okay, we're going to get. So what we're going to concentrate. What the world needs now is love. We yes. need more love. Yes. I think we're running uh, from the time a little. Maybe you oh, can let's do the spectacular Susie. Susie. Real spectacular quick. Spectacular Susie, real, real quick. Spectacular okay. Susie, spec for short. The spectacular spec Susie. Susie. Okay. Boy, we're oh shuffle boy, one that's more a time. heavy duty reading here. Yes, well, it's a quickie. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, well, that was a quickie <laughs> reading. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was intense. All right, Susie. Okay. Now your turn. Uh, Pick a card. Any card? Pick a card, any okay. card. Oh, she went. Oh, <gasps> Susie, my God. This okay, looks nice. Same card. Oh. Pick another. Okay. 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 And pick another. Okay. <gasps> Susie. Are they getting now, to see wait. these cards? I just realized okay. maybe the, the, the now, folks I'll, back. I'll, I'll hold it up and they can see. We've got the Knight of Cups card. We've got the uh, Seven of Pentacles card. And we've also got the Nine of Cups card. Now, this is a really, really good card. Susie, there is no reason in the world why you shouldn't be successful in your work. Oh. Because oh, this is an huh. excellent, excellent card. This is like an assured future and well-being. Oh. So you should do very well. This is great. You're, and you're seeing things grow. This year you should be seeing things grow for you. So, you know, you can really start moving up the ladder here. Yes. I yes. Like this. Absolutely. <laughs> it's yes. fantastic. More yeah. stuff can Absolutely. Happen. That's fantastic. Yeah. And if you if folks at home are not eating, yeah, we can't give out the number of the psychic holiday. We don't do that, but if no. you call the number at the end of the That's show. That's right. Okay, maybe we put it at 310-281-6731. 310-281-6731. The count, Smokula Hotline, day or night. We'll put you in touch with the great... Miss yes. Patty. Patty. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay, <laughs> right now we're running again from the time... So we have to get on with the show. We've got a great performance from a phenomenalish, phenomenalish entertainer, the man who's won. He won so many things just recently. I have the facts here. It says he won the Boston Acoustic Music Finalist, the Kerrville Folk Festival, the Napa Valley Music Festival, New Artist Competition, and in 1996 was voted one of the best 100 unsigned artists to LA by the Music Connection magazine. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bob Malone! Woo! Were you sure of surprised to see me leaning on the bar when you came in the door? On the arm of that cat I seen you with a couple of times before. You looked a little nervous when you introduced me as your old friend from out of town. And I reached out to shake his hand. Cause I know that he's your husband. But he don't know that I'm your man. Now I don't mean to make you so uneasy on your romantic evening out. I guess I'll sit by the back.
vices I got bold in a few And I guess that he'd agree That out of all my bad habits The worst one I got is you Well, you were relieved to see me leave But I do believe I'll hear from you in a day or two You say your husband's working They ain't at the office And could I come by and do some work on you When he's making all them business plans Cause I know that he's your husband mama now But he don't know that I'm your man I say that he don't know that I'm your man I say that he don't know that I'm your man Didn't I tell you this was going to be great? I told you this was going to be something special. And guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, we have right here in our studio, live and in human person, Mr. Bob Malone. How you yeah. doing, Bob? How you doing? It's great uh, that you came down from your busy schedule to come over here in the Hollywood of the California to be with us today. Bob, what you've been doing uh, lately? You, you've been playing every place, Playing right? all over the country. I, I just I put out a record about a year ago. A CD. I think I so have right, You have one. You I do. I have the CD here. He's got a, we're not plugging the CD. This is public access. But here's Bob Malone's The Darkest Part of the Night. Can you see that? <laughs> This is a great CD, and you can find it all over the place whenever Bob is playing. Or again, 310-281-6731, and you can get more information from the Count Smokula uh, hotline, day or night. Okay, Bob, what influences in your music? I know there was some jelly bean, jelly roll, New Orleans, right? Morton, yeah. Uh, you know, Dr. John and Professor Longhair and... Um, I love songwriters too, like Bob Dylan and people like that. And, you know, there's a lot of it. Ray Charles, a huge influence. Ray Charles, oh, this is something Can't great. Him, yeah. The blues, <laughs> the rock and roll. Yeah. Now you're writing a lot of the songs, right? Yeah, all the songs I wrote. And, How you yeah. get this influence, like Miss Patty hears behind the ears? Where and how you get the influence and the, the what's the inspirations? Well, usually I try to get into trouble somehow, and you know. And I'll get a song out of it. That's right, you know. That's right. Yeah. When things are going great, you know, I really don't get any songs usually. All kinds of trouble. Oh, we're talking about the same thing here. Yeah. Lots and lots of troubles. This keeps Bob Malone writing so Now, you recently you were on the road and you had some harrowing experiences. Oh yeah, we went on a tour down through Texas and on the first the first day we lost the transmission in the car. That's and a bad sign right there. Got another car. We got into Texas, and uh, it was me and a, a friend of mine were traveling. He was a kind of a folk singer guy, and um, we got pulled over by the cops f for you know exceeding the unposted hair limit, you know, and mm -hmm. and uh, they brought out the dogs, you know, and they were looking for the drugs, but they didn't find anything. They didn't find it because mm -hmm. uh, I'm yeah. not going to say why they didn't find then it. Then we played, and we they played a few gigs when we were still in Texas. Happened again to what, us. The, the, same. the transmission or the doggies? No, the dogs. The, uh, the wow. police and oh, the dogs boy. and the thing. Yeah, it happened to us three times until we finally got out of the state. <laughs> this is a vile thing. Yeah, it, this was, is, it must be vile in Texas. Yeah. It's a wild and crazy place. So in Los Angeles of the California, you play in all the nightclubs and the hot spots. Every all place, over the right? place, yeah. So you would look for him in the local listings, Yeah, right? I'm, I'm in there, yep. And it's in there, Bob Malone, but sometimes with a great band. Yeah, I have an 11-piece band. 11 pieces? Yeah. Horns. How do you feed them? Uh, <laughs> I don't feed them. <laughs> Leave that for somebody else. Oh, okay. That's all. But the horns. The wives, and, yeah. Yeah, the no. <laughs> Because uh, what they say, uh, but you call a musician whose uh, girlfriend kicked him out. Homeless. Homeless. Yeah. That's it. She left him. He's homeless. Okay. Bob, would you like a chance to be read by one of the world's great yeah, psychics? Oh, Patty. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Yeah. okay, Bob, pick a card. Shuffle the cards. This is all fair and legitimate. Yes, pick a card. What okay. It? Give it to me. It okay. To Woo! And another. Let's see what's in store for Bob. This wow. And another. Yes, one more. Wow. 
Okay. Well, it looks to me from what this says like uh, there's been some disappointments once again in your romantic life also, but that you're concentrating more on work lately. That's right. That is, yeah, very, very true. So, and that's, see, so this is going to help you to create some new things here, which is just what you were talking about, how you get, you know, in trouble and you get inspired. So that's exactly what's going on here. These uh, troubles that you've had in your love life help you to work on new songs and be Should very, very creative. Yes, absolutely. Stay in trouble for a while until I get some songs. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, this is something great. And I have to say, the CD that you have, The Darkest Part of the Night, that's when people should call Miss Patty on the Psychic Hotline. Call on on the Psychic Hotline. That's it. Yes. And, uh, and you can get all kinds of information. You look for uh, Bob playing here and there all over the country. He's going places, right? All kinds of places. All I, don't know. I have high friends in places. Yeah. High friends in places. <laughs> and make sure... Make sure you have a nice transmission next time. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's the motto of the story here. And I think we're running from the time. Is this correct, Mr. Floor Director? So what we're going to do right now is the Dance of Joy from Smart oh, I want to thank oh. everybody for being here. My wonderful co-host, the spectacular Susie. Okay, <laughs> the great Bob Malone, yeah. piano player extraordinaire, singer, songwriter, etc. And the world's greatest psychic, Miss Patty. And everybody, thank you for tuning in. Be natural, be healthy. See you next time. And join with us in the dance of joy. <laughs> Let's find some harmony. Relax, there's no place to go. Come, Come to, to the, the